Hi, I'm Sam Norman and you're watching Book Zone and I'm going to be talking to the author Mary Hooper about her novel By Royal Command which is published by Bloomsbury. Welcome to Book Zone, Mary. Okay. Um, this is a historical novel for children, yes. isn't it? T give me a little synopsis of the plot. It's, um, I like to have real people in my novels, so it's about Dr. D, who was a magician at the court of Queen Elizabeth, and um, it's a, a maid who goes to work in his house and mm -hmm. sort of witnesses various goings-on and has a little um, love affair of her own. Um, that's all. Yeah. Um, wh what's it like writing for children, and, and, and what's the appeal? The appeal, first of all, for me was that the books were shorter than writing adult books. Right. So, I don't know, I think it's just more fun writing for children. You don't have to have a serious theme behind it all. Um, you Do just you can have fun. Yeah. Is it, it, it's sort of more liberating. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I would say so. And you're quite, and you do a lot of promotion for your books, don't you, in schools and stuff? I do a lot of school visits, mm. yes, and um, kids, according to whether they've been prepared by their teachers ahead of time, are more or less um, eager to, to, to see me. And how do you get them into being interested in books and reading? That's quite a difficult one because I think if you go too far, push them too far, they, you're going to turn them off for life. Yeah. I think just be pleased if they read anything, even comics. Mm -hmm. you know, I started off with Beano and it didn't do me any harm. And at what point did you decide you, you were going to write? Um, I started off writing short stories when I was at home with two small children and didn't have anything to do. And the short stories sold, and I went on from there to sort of mm -hmm. do longer things, serials for magazines, and and then it was a short step onto a book, and that sort of started me off. And you're quite prolific, aren't you? Because you, you I mean, you've got you write series of books, don't you? You've got the um, yes, yeah, the yes. revolting, the revolting bridesmaid, which yep. is younger, and I've got two naughty angels, which is also mm -hmm. younger, and I t I like doing several books on the same character because once you've got your character established yeah. it's it's quite easy to let them into another adventure and what's your routine you must be terribly um, strict with yourself you have to it, I'm strict with myself when there's a deadline due yeah. but um, other than that I'm afraid you know, I always say writing is the only job where you can sit in the garden reading a magazine and pretend it's research <laughs> <laughs> so I do, <laughs> it does tend to be a scramble at the end to sort of get everything done in time. But by, for, by royal command, you must have done quite a lot of research. Yes, research, well, research is the best bit of writing as far as I'm concerned, because this is where you, you find your little bits and pieces um, that are going to bring your book to life. Mm -hmm. And you also find um, little nuggets that you can use, you know, you find plot ideas for other books while you're researching for, for one book. How did you find this one? Um, Dr. D, Dr. D was, I've always been interested in him because I used to, I was born and brought up in Barnes, which is southwest London, mm. which is where Dr. D came, came from Mortlake actually. So I've always known Dr. D was there and I was just sort of waiting for a time to investigate him. And what's next? What's next? I'm doing a third Dr. D book um, and then I'm going to have a try at um, a Victorian Gothic set in a funeral parlour, oh, rather fantastic. fancy, with the Necropolis Railway, something something rather spooky and Gosh, gothic. that sounds wonderful. Mm. And will that be for children or adults? It will be for children, yes. Mm. Yeah, so you can really indulge yourself. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. I look forward to that one. <laughs> anyway, By Royal Command looks extremely interesting too. And, um, and as we say, that's published by Bloomsbury, and I was talking to Mary Hooper.